Hi, it's Lisa. And um, there's just kind of a glare from the sun, but at the same time, it's like overcast and cloudy sometimes. And um, I was, I just got out of the family dollar and I did a little bit of grocery shopping, but you know, even when you do, I always say it, even, even when I do a little bit of grocery shopping, it still adds up to a lot of money. And one of the main things I got in there was this weekend, because today's Friday and I'm off work, so I'm going to be with the family. So one of my go-to things when I'm really broke like this and stuff and like just go through it financially is spaghetti. So I got that box of spaghetti noodles and I mean, that's like a dollar. You know, you can't beat it. So I got that here at the family dollar, a dollar for spaghetti noodles. And then I got a, one can of sauce and I got the cheap kind of sauce. I forget what brand it was, but it was like the can of sauce. It was like, mm, it was like a dollar and something, you know, so that's not bad. And then as far as the hamburger meat. Okay. So you go over to the frozen section and then they got like, they got like these logs of frozen hamburger meat. They're like rock solid frozen. And you get one and it's like 80% lean. And then you get the other kind, the same brand, same size, but it's like 73% lean or something like that. One's more expensive, one's cheaper. But the more expensive one is like $9 and something. And, it, you know, and it's like, really? Come on now. That's a lot for that, just that log of hamburger like that. And how far is that going to go in your, in your pot of spaghetti? So I was like, well, damn it. I just, I got to get it right. So. I, you know, I put the, um, I put the logs of, you know, frozen hamburger meat in the car and, and, and then I'm going down there, I'm perusing down the frozen food aisle. And then I see they got these bags of meatballs. So <clears throat> I went ahead and I put those, those frozen hamburger logs back and I got those bags of meatballs and I just went ahead and those were cheaper. They were cheaper. They were like, um, $5, I think, and some change per bag. It was either $3 or $5. So, yeah, and there was 26 meatballs in each bag. Okay, so um, however they taste, they're going to taste better with the sauce. And I am hurting financially right now, so I got to cut corners, you know. So, anyways, um, I got the spaghetti makings, you know, and I got some chips that I think the kids would like. And I got them some candies. I got some sodi, got the milk. Um got some cookies, stuff like that. So I don't know. I wish that I would have took you in there with me and just kind of, and I wouldn't have even talked. I could have just like walked around and just shopped. And then like, you could have just saw the stuff I picked out, you know, like that. Um, but one thing, well, two, two more things I did get in there is I got, um, I got the brisk, the brisk iced tea with lemon because it's cheap and I like the tea. Okay. So, and then the other thing, of course, that's cheap that I like is moon pie. So they had the banana, the chocolate, and then they also got the vanilla, but I couldn't decide between chocolate and banana. So I just went ahead and I got the banana. So I figured, I know I didn't go, I didn't take you in the store with me. I left you, I left you here in the vehicle with the windows cracked, you know, like, like a dog. No, I'm just kidding. You're not a dog. Okay. So we'll have a little sip, but it's small. It's a little teeny tiny little moon pie. Look at that. He's tiny. I think he got smaller. I think even the moon pie is going through a recession. So let me see how many fat grams are in this little guy. 2.5. I don't know. I think I remember him being a little bigger. Since 1917, they've been making... I bet they were bigger back then, too. And it, well, yeah, I'm cheaper. So I'm going to crack open my tea. But anyway. I was just kind of down in spirits here lately. Because I was thinking about that Israel thing. And I just wish... I already sanitized my hands when I got in the vehicle after packing up everything and getting back, you know. So anyway, I'm, I'm okay to eat. All these loud, loud vehicles around here, I swear. I was thinking about Israel 
and it had me down in spirits and it makes me sad. And I, other people I'll talk to at work and stuff like that, they'll be like, oh, well, just don't think about it. Just don't focus on it, blah, blah, blah. You know, mm, banana. Crumbs. Moon pie, mock bang, right? So I'm like, yeah, dude, you know, I'm at work or whatever. And I'm like, oh, did you hear about, you know, did you hear about Israel and this and that and the third? This phone better not fall down. I tell you what. I got it. <clears throat> mm. I got it propped up with an old water bottle. Um, you know, did you hear about Israel? I, I, I said to my coworkers and stuff, like, no, we don't want to think about it. We don't want to talk about it. We don't want to look at it on the news. So... I get it. I understand, you know. But it just makes me so sad. Especially for those, like, little kids and babies and stuff, you know. It's just awful. But I know it all boils, always it all boils down to money. And on one hand, you got the rich people behind the scenes. And they either own a fraction of or they invest in the companies that sell war machinery and then you got these other guys over here who are young and ignorant and don't know and they're brainwashed for whatever reason into thinking they're supposed to go into war and commit a you know the the atrocities and the killings and 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 stuff so they buy into the war so on one hand, you got the greed and the power and the guys, you know, with the money. And then these guys over here who are acting like as, you know, the terrorists and they're, they're ignorant. They don't know any better, but they're buying into the whole idea of war and that they're supposed to commit war and they're supposed to join in the war where in, in actuality, they're just they're just pawns and they're puppets and they're, they're like chess pieces for these rich people over here. So I just wish that all the, these young men that I see on social media doing all this war stuff, these acts of terrorism, I wish they wouldn't fall for it is what I'm saying, you know? I wish they wouldn't fall for it because they're just making these rich guys behind the scenes, their, you know, the money. The U.S., the major company in the U.S. of A. that sells the most war machinery is, they're called Lockheed Martin. Lockheed Martin. And they sell so much war machinery to countries like Saudi Arabia and stuff like that. I can't remember them all. And if you get on the stock market and you look at their chart, their chart just goes up and up and up. And they do pretty good. And all that war machinery that they sell, they, they make it in their factories, Lockheed Martin. They make it in their factories and then they sell it, see, to these third world countries. But that war machinery that they're making, think of all the innocent people that is affected by that war machinery that Lockheed Martin sells, you know. And then these rich people behind the scenes that are bought into these companies that either own a fraction of them or invested in stock shares of, you know, the company. Because they know the company is going to do good. Because not only do the rich people, do they, are they bought into these companies but these rich people they promote wars they promote wars they finance wars they make money off of wars so these thir these third world countries see they they buy they buy into that bullshit and that's what happens so 
Anyway, we got Lockheed Martin. They're the ones that are number one that sell all the, that sell the most war machinery. Um, and then se second and third behind them is Boeing, and then another one is called Raytheon. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and they sell the most, you know, war machinery to. Let's see, I remembered another one. Let's see, Saudi Arabia, Syria. And again, I can't remember what else. But, you know, it's little countries like that. Instead of saying no, we don't want no damn war. You know, we're going to get along and stuff and not make our babies suffer. You know, they go ahead and they and they buy more war machinery from U.S. And they make these, these guys behind the scenes richer. So, you know... That's all it is. I'm just getting people that don't know any better to fight. So you can make money off of them. So. Anyway. I'm so sad. And my spirit has been down. About it. Which... I'm gonna fucking cry. Because I've just been seeing too much on the social media, you know. So. Um, crying and eating. Crying and eating. Well. I gotta go pick up my little girl now. And then I gotta go home. And I'm gonna make some spaghetti. Mm -hmm. Anyways. Sorry my phone's like this. I gotta get better stuff. And um, I'll talk to you guys all next time. Bye. Mm -hmm.